Subscribe to Rajshree Food and click on the bell icon for more updates. In today's episode, I'm going to make a recipe with aubergine or bengan. It's a very simple recipe which is dahi wale bengan. So let's see how. Let's start with heating some oil. So around 2 tablespoons of oil first. Next, let's cut the bengan. So cut it into slant strips. About a quarter inch thick. I've taken two of these bengans. Let's rub a dash of salt over it. And we're going to shallow fry it in this oil. Fry these up on medium low heat. Let's flip them over. This is nicely done on one side. Let it cook slowly on low heat on the other side as well. The aubergines are done. They're browned on both the sides. And just before we remove it uh, from the pan, I'm going to add in all the spices. So half a teaspoon of garam masala, one four teaspoon of chili flakes, half a teaspoon jeera powder, half a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder, one four teaspoon of turmeric powder. Just mix this nicely. If you don't wish to shallow fry these bengan, you could always deep fry it as well and then sprinkle all the spices over it. Make sure the masala sticks on both the sides of the bengan. Let's get them out. Let's keep these aside. Half the recipe is done, so let's move on. I'm going to make the dhai part of the recipe. So, just heat a tablespoon of oil for that. Once the oil is hot, I'm going to add in two boria chilies or you could use any of the dry chilies that you have at home. Next into this, I'm going to add four cloves of garlic finely chopped or you could even use one teaspoon of garlic paste. One tablespoon of ginger paste. Turn off the flame and now into this I'm going to add one and a half cups of churned curd. Let the tadka cool down a bit before you add the curd. Mix the garlic and the ginger properly and let's remove it back into the bowl. So I wanted to flavour this curd very mildly with the ginger and garlic. So what I do is one trick is I remove any kind of lumps or any pieces, big pieces of garlic and ginger which is there in the curd. I think this is done. And now into this, I'm just going to season it with a dash of salt, not too much. Time to plate this. Let's make a layer of this tadka curd. I'm going to sprinkle some spices. So I have chaat masala here. Just a little bit of the red chilli powder. Cumin seed powder. Few chilli flakes. And now I'm going to place the bengan slices. Make sure you plate this just before serving. Let's sprinkle all the spices. So there is chaat masala, red chilli powder, 
cumin seed powder, red chili flakes, and some coriander leaf. Dahi wale bengan is ready. You can even serve it cold, or you can just lightly warm up the bengan before serving. There's one thing that you really need to remember is that do not put the curd into the hot tadka, or there are chances that the curd is going to curdle. So do try this at home. Comment below. I'm sure you guys are going to love it. Let me know how it turned out. See you soon. Bye bye.